Uh, we are the future. We need to be leaders. I'm Mike Terry, the fourth generation inshore fisherman from Napier, New Zealand. We call ourselves the guardians of the ocean, so we need to safeguard our industry and make and keep it sustainable. New Zealand came up with the world recognised quota management system in 1986 after the iron dropping nearly collapsed. Earlier in the day, you have heard from the first strategy group, Seafood Stories, where they have focused on the story of the people. Sea Troop fo focuses on the story from the, from the catch to the plate. To tell the story of our inshore fish from my net to your table and to educate the wider public of the sustainable practices we use to ensure that our catch is sustainable. So as part of my presentation, I have made a short three minute film of what goes on on our inshore trawler. This is from shooting and hauling the trawl to icing the bins to unloading and going to the factory for processing, ready for the table. As you can see here, this is a typical bottom trawl. So to be selective of the different species we target, we tow a low lift trawl of an opening of height of 1.2 metres. So, so, only so we only target our target species of gurnard, cherokee, red cod and flatfish. Now you can see, now you can see here the length of it. It is a five inch square length configuration and the cutting is a T90 configuration where these two combinations work very well in letting the juvenile fish out compared to the traditional diamond mesh. Because if we didn't follow the rule and, oh, sorry. As you can see here, I have got these two meshes the square, the square and the diamond, showing the differences while being while being towed along and opening up to let the juveniles escape. Mm -hmm. Now now a lot of trawlers are investing in catch sensors. They are expensive but a great investment. So now so you know exactly the amount that's entering the trawl and you know when to pick the trawl up. So you are getting better, better quality fish and you're not over catching your quota. This might sound a bit bizarre to some people, but yes, I also go recreational fishing on my days off because <laughs> I just love fishing and being on the ocean and smelling that fresh air. When I go recreational fishing, whether it's on my wee boat or someone else's, we also follow the basic rule, limit your catch, don't catch your limit. We usually catch two to three fish per person, which is more than enough to feed us and the neighbour. Because if we didn't follow that rule and caught our limit each time, there's going to be nothing left for anyone else and also my, ne my niece and my nephew who are our fifth generation and it would be pretty cool to get a sixth and seventh too. In conclusion, I'd like to sum up by saying, yes, the industry is becoming more and more sustainable in all the sectors and it's only going to get better as we carry on and follow our practices. So I'll pass you on to Mel, but before then I'll just leave you with a little small clip of my video. Mm.